Another week is upon us and we're seeing quite the drop in U.S. stocks this Tuesday afternoon right here at the New York Stock Exchange, pressured by a surge in the U.S. dollar as well as weakness in oil prices. But first, we begin on the economic front as wholesale inventories for January rose 0.3 percent, that beat expectations, while the NFIB Small Business Index for February, that was an encouraging 98, but still little change from January's read of 97.9. However, the bigger story of the session has been the U.S. dollar advancing nearly 1% to 12-year highs as the euro fell below $1.08 for the first time in eight years on the beginning of quantitative easing in the eurozone region. Also, oil down significantly after Goldman Sachs said in a note on Monday that it expected U.S. crude to drop as far as $40 a barrel in the near term. Getting more in detail about the forex markets, the U.S. dollar continues to surge as the euro dollar is currently 1.23 percent lower at 107.18, while Trading Central Focus that's on the New Zealand dollar U.S. dollar pair, which stands below a resistance at 0.7355 and also remains under pressure. So as long as 0.7355 holds as a resistance, look for further decline to 0.7240 and 0.7205 in extension. And now looking ahead to tomorrow's trading session, it's another quiet one with mortgage applications at 7 a.m. and an auction of $21 billion worth of 10-year notes in the afternoon. And until next week, from the New York Stock Exchange, I'm James Sweeney, special correspondent for NZ Global Financial Trading.